Hey everyone, Chimera45 here. Welcome back to Let's Play God of War 3. Last time we went through the three trials, kind of failed at the last one, but, you know, made, through, made it through in the second try. And now we are ready to be judged by the these three guys right here. By the gods of Olympus and order of Zeus, we are the three judges. Face your final judgment, mortal. King Eacus has found you wanting. King Radamanthus has found you worthy. It falls to me, King Minos, to make the final decision. Your future is cloaked in shadow. The realm of the afterlife is not yet ready for you. Beyond that door, Thank you, O oh deep voiced one. You are very wise. Alright, so over here we got a health and magic chest, which is very good news for me because I'm running a little low on magic, although this one's probably going to give me some magic. Yep, but oh well. Alright, so that's a little portal. Sent us up here. Oh, and look. It's that same kind of rock that was around Gaia's heart. <clears throat> kind of would like to, you know, carve Gaia's heart out right now. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Might as well. Might as well see what this says. The three judges. Kings Minos, Eacus, and Radamanthus. Judge the heart. Oh, only those found worthy may pass into... Alright, what did that say originally in the first? Oh, it won't let you read the text again. Alright, whatever. You'll be able to read it if you pause it. I was reading too slow. Alright, let's head over here. And we are about to get attacked by two buddies of mine. But luckily they're really stupid. Wait for it. Boom. And then... Wait for it. Oh, oh wait. He blocked it. Alright, well, at least got the other one. The second one. No, hit... There we go. You can hit both... You can hit multiple enemies with the same arrow. Shit. You almost got me that time. I'm trying to... Yeah, there we go. <coughs> I always think it's the, uh, you know, spinning one of the analog sticks. No, 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 no. Bad Minotaur. Oh, can you stop them from charging like that? Oh, no, I have to try it next time I fight one. Looked like you might be able to stop their charge with the, uh, with that move. I don't really know exactly what to call it. Grapple, I guess? like the closest thing I can think. Now, your eyes aren't playing tricks on you or anything. We will find out what that's all about later on. Alright, and don't miss this over here. You can come over and slide down. And I believe... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I always do that. I always, every single time I play through this game, it, does, it doesn't fail. I always go down there thinking it's a red orb chest. Ooh, that was close. But I do that every single time. It's funny, but it annoys me. Hey, come here. Come here. No, you... There we go. Leave no... Oh, Father? wait. Calliope? Oh. You are not my daughter. No. But I know who you are. You know of me. They said you would come. Magnetoys, Kratos. Show yourself, Hades. Another one of your tricks. As usual, Spartan. You are gravely mistaken. Face me, coward! So eager, Kratos. Relax. Yeah, it's not very comforting, Hades. 
Although, really, I'm not afraid of you. If you want me to be 100% honest. Oh no, not another chain section. I'm kind of afraid of these, actually. I almost died back there on that one, remember? Oh! <laughs> I'm not even gonna cut that out. That's just too funny. All right, let's see. Can I, all right, you know what? Kratos is like, let's not do that again. <laughs> oh, that was funny. A uh, note scrawled by a tortured soul. He was my responsibility. It was my burden to raise him, teach him right from wrong. All who get too near him suffer or die. His wife, his child, his brother. Now me. I failed him as a mother, as a human being. His sins are mine to bear. Punish me for his shortcomings and grant my son redemption. Pretty sure that's, um, Kratos' mom. I forget her name. But we fought her and goes to Sparta. I think she's got, like, some kind of weird name. Let's see what's coming up here. Oh, I hate the I hate the little area we have to get through now. There we go. Oh yeah, and those guys will crawl after you a little while after you kill them. I guess they're not really dead if they can still crawl after you, but uh it oh yeah, it's really creepy. And if they they will explode after a few seconds, so that's what they're trying to do: get close enough to you to kill you with the explosion. I think if you uh, kill them with circle, yeah. Oh, what? Okay. Delayed sound reaction. Let's see. Can I upgrade my blades? No, I'm kind of close. But not yet. Wish the upgrades didn't cost so much money in this game. Die. And get out of here. Okay, I was about to say, if he didn't die, I was going to rip him in half. No pot escapes my sight. Well, that's not true. But still. Oh, wait, no, this is... Is this the part I'm thinking about? Yeah, this is the part I'm thinking about. I mean, it's not difficult or anything. It's just the those archer dudes are annoying. Note scrawled by a tortured soul. He could have saved me. He held my life in his hand, and still he let go. I may have been just a mere boat captain, but he treated me as if I was nothing. He is to blame for my torment here. I hope he suffers in Hades as I have. Damn, that ghost of Sparta. Oh, uh, if you have not played uh, God of War 1 or 2, you will not have encountered the boat captain. Oh, uh, it's really... F Actually, I think... I think he appears in another one, too. Like, I think he was in one of the mobile games. I think he was in uh, Ghost of Sparta. Not entirely sure. I think he made an appearance in that one. No, he couldn't have, because he was... Nah, he couldn't have. He was already dead in Ghost of Sparta. So yeah, he appeared in God of War 1 and 2. And it's just... it It's funny that they put a, uh, a note from him in there. Nice little, you know, like, shout-out, I guess you could say, reference... At least we know he ultimately wound up in Hades. Must not have been that good of a guy. Yes. So obviously if you burn them with uh, Apollo's bow, they don't crawl after you either. It's a good thing to know. Yeah, now you have to bring one of these pots over here. But of course, as soon as you grab one these guys come out. Oh, that was good. I didn't even... Wow, that was a nice shot. Wow. 
that was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. So moving on, you got to bring this pot of bramble over here, glide down, and do what we just did, but without any, I think they're called sentries or something, I'm not entirely sure. I have the guide sitting right next to me so I could look up their names if I wanted to, but I kind of don't want to. Unless you guys want me to start doing that, it's up to you. I honestly... Oh yeah, be careful, because if you blow up your pot, you have to go get another one. And it can be annoying. But, luckily, it won't cause too much trouble. <laughs> if I had accidentally shot the pot, I would have been so mad. Alright, so now we gotta just do that. And it creates a stronger current of air. Oh, I just saw another bramble pot going somewhere. They're all over the place down here. And there we go. Easy as that. Oh god. I forgot. I always forget these things are in here. I mean, it's really not too bad, though. They don't attack you, I don't think. And they give you quite a good amount of experience. It's easier if you have the uh, Cyclone ability unlocked already. I don't. But yeah, they, they might. I don't actually you know what. They probably won't, but they're going to get me close to... Uh, being able to upgrade my blades and then hopefully that red orb chest over there will allow me to upgrade them I'm not guaranteeing that it will but it would be nice come on just die you can oh whoa don't know why all my arrows were missing this guy right here. Come on. Come on. What, is he, un is he unhittable? Untouchable? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get you. There we go. Unfortunately, the bow really won't do much against these guys. Come on. <laughs> like I said, if you have the uh, Cyclone ability unlocked, it's a lot easier to hit these guys up here. <coughs> but, I do not. Oh, Triangle seems to work pretty good. Does a little, like, spin move. Okay. Ouch. Alright, so maybe they can attack you, they just barely do any damage. I don't know, I can't really tell. I'm just getting a little annoyed with these guys now. You really can't... I guess these guys can't get hit by the bow unless they're like right in front of you. There we go, finally. There we go, first phoenix feather. I'm positive that I've missed a couple of them already. Which is kind of a bummer, and it's a really big bummer that that orb chest did not have more in it. There we go. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. And now we are coming up to... I don't remember, to be completely honest with you. So we shall find out when we get up there. There's always these guys wandering around. Oh, they give you health like that? I want to have opened that chest. Oh yeah, we're about to encounter a new enemy up here. And I've never heard... Well, I shouldn't say never, but it's been a while since I fought these guys on hard. So, well, let's take a look at the book. The scorched lands stretch out as far as the eye can see. This is the Pit of Tartarus.
I think it's cool that they put the um, that there's actually like a ceiling. You know, the earth is above you. I think that's really cool. <coughs> yeah, it's a very, very, very good detail in this game. Like I keep saying. Oh shit. All right, so not too bad. Whoa, but I still would like to avoid getting hit as much as possible. And I could actually use my magic and then go get that magic chest down there. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Come here. And gotcha. They can block with their hammer, I'm pretty sure. And their main attack is that smashing attack. And when you knock back, knock them back, they do that move. There we go. But then eventually, you just do that. And they're done. Oh, I can upgrade my blades. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Do I have my counter back? Damn it. Come on. Damn it. I keep missing it. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I can block that, though. I might be able to. I'm not entirely sure. Come on. Get into the circle. There we go. Come here. And finish him. Alright, let me run back real quick and grab that magic chest. Used up almost all my magic. I wish I had saved that health chest, too. Had I known that those guys would have given me a little bit of health, I would have... Hopefully there is another health chest coming up. There's probably going to be a magic one too, but... Now if there's only one that's, you know, one of those uh, alternating ones, I won't have to choose. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of having a hard time remembering what exactly is coming up. Oh, here we go. Perfect health. So, I'm glad I did what I did, kind of. Oh, okay. I didn't realize we were going to meet him so early. Well, get to him so quickly, I should say. This is my favorite god from Norse mythology, but I don't really like him in this game. Calm yourself, Smith God. Uh, uh, ghost of Sparta? It is you. Well, well, well. I thought Zeus would have killed you by now. I thought you would have escaped this cavern by now. <laughs> Zeus may have imprisoned me here, but you are the reason I live in torment. I did you no wrong, Hephaestus. I pursue only one Olympian. Well, as long as it's only one Olympian. <laughs> I seek the flame of Olympus. Do you know of it? For what purpose, Spartan? For the purpose I have chosen. Now tell me, do you know of the flame? All true children of Olympus know of it. They've all come to respect its power. But don't be fooled by its enticing glow. Neither God nor man can touch its lethal flame. I only need to find it. <laughs> if you can find your way out of the underworld, I'm sure you can find your way to the flame of Olympus. <laughs> you have been truly helpful. 
Yeah, like I said, he's kind of a prick in this game. Can't really say I blame him, but still. Go ahead and save real quick. There we go. Myself some more red orbs. And now this lever over here is going to open that gate. So now we can explore even more of the underworld. So yeah, Hephaestus is the Greek god of forging and fire and all that fun stuff. In mythology, he is the son of Hera and Zeus, but he was, well, in some, like, in some legends, he started off ugly, and Zeus was, like, so offended by his appearance, he threw him from Mount Olympus, and got even uglier. Others say, like, Hera had him by herself or something and Zeus got pissed and threw him from Olympus and that's why <clears throat> he's all fucked up in the myths and all that there's you know there's a couple of different explanations wait hold up real quick I'm not entirely sure if we oh hello oh no 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 bad doggies yeah, when they're all around you like that, perfect time for a little cyclone of chaos. That's what it, the uh, move is called. Perfect. Wait, wait, I was about to say, I saw something else. Okay. And that's about it. I was hoping for a, you know, Gorgon Eye or something, or another Phoenix Feather. Um, but yeah. And in mythology, he is married to Aphrodite. But, you know, she's always cheating on him. Especially with Ares. Um, I'm sure there's a couple of myths revolving around him, but really there's not too many, you know, come to mind with him. I don't really even recall him having any, like, demigod children. I'm sure he had a few, and I'm sure they're mentioned. I haven't read every single Greek mythology thing out there, of course, but from what I've read, I've never heard of one. Oh, the Blade of Olympus. Kratos? How do you know of me? You are the ghost of Sparta. Everyone knows who you are. Everyone is afraid of you. There are reasons for that. I'm not afraid of you. It is good you're not afraid, child. Fear is a heavy burden. I'm not a child, Kratos. It does not matter what you are. My concerns lay elsewhere. Kratos, please. I need you to free me. The quest for freedom is also a heavy burden. I cannot help you. Alright, so we have the Blade of Olympus back, but we can only use it as a rage meter. Now, I know there are a lot of enemies here, and you would be tempted to use the, you know, your newfound Blade of Olympus and your Rage of Sparta meter and all that, but save it because I I recommend saving it I should say for a fight that is coming up in just a little bit if you get overwhelmed you can always you know just do the new uh, grab move like well you know and use the battering ram move because I'm trying to save it for those guys right there yeah, especially on hard I'm gonna need to use that on them I've, I'm pretty sure Alright, so remember how I came over here earlier? You don't have to come over here when I did, obviously. I just come over here so that you have the experience early on. 
Might as well go ahead and save. Hey, hey. I have range two now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm about to say burn, but there we go, burn. I don't know why I'm making a new save file each and every time, but whatever, I'll eventually go back and, like, delete them, I guess. Alright, buddies. That's how you initiate the fight, you burn the bramble. Alright, even if I can just kill one of them with this thing. Alright, so while using the blade, you take less damage, you're not completely invulnerable. And you can turn it on and off, which is very useful. Now, I'm not entirely sure if you can kill the Cerberus outright without doing the circle prompts, but uh, I wouldn't risk it because you don't want to waste all that, you know, damage with the blade and then not be doing anything. Ouch. Alright, so that was pretty good, I guess. I'm, I was really disappointed with how they incorporated the blade in this game, because, you know, you go through so much in the second game to get it, and now you can only use it, you know, as a rage meter in this game. I thought that was really stupid the first time I played through. And I mean, I'm still, it's like my, if I have to say that there's a least favorite, like, thing to me they did in this game, it would have to be that. Because, you know, I just want to be able to use the blade whenever I want. I mean, I can understand why they didn't do that, because it's such a powerful weapon, but... Like, after being able to use it whenever you want in New Game Plus and God of War 2, it's just really disappointing not being able to walk around fighting enemies all the time with it. I mean, it's incorporated a lot more than just that, but still... I was disappointed. Damn, there we go. Such a heavy door. You can tell just when you're, like, opening it. Whoa. Yeah, if you're, uh, not big on animal violence, then I apologize. I'm not big on animal violence either. But in a video game, I really don't care. But I know there's some people who get offended no matter what type of uh, animal violence it is. Damn it. Keep trying to parry. And it's not working. Why do you guys just have to continuously spawn? Get off of me. Rip you in half real quick, and you just die. 